So what sort of what age were you whenever the war was declared? I would have been third of September, Sunday the third of September, eleven o'clock. I'd have been nine. I was born in nineteen thirty. Uh huh. That dates me a bit, doesn't it? Ah, sure. Means I'm eighty six my big <laughs> birthday. Don't, don't don't mention it. Then. <laughs> <coughs> You're a bit younger. <laughs> just just a wee bit. Still, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I lived in a farm and that was and. Uh, good times. Well, I can remember mainly. That, no, there weren't good times. No. No, no, not necessarily. I can vaguely remember the what now people would call the hungry thirties. Uh-huh. I can remember the farm potatoes being dug up uh-huh. and just thrown the back of the we called the back of the ditch there for the next crop to go in. It was, they were the hungry thirties. I suppose that was after the big depression in America, nineteen twenty nine. Uh-huh. You know, whatever uh-huh. than Christ. Yeah. The hungry thirties. There was. Nobody had money to buy anything. There was no social security really or anything no. like that in those days. I don't know how people did, you know. Yeah, I can remember an old fellow, he, he uh, used to work for Hugh McBride, he had a farm in a pub and he, he used to say, my wages for the week were 19 shillings and 11 pence. And that, uh, I, was I better not say use the word, he said, and McBride, he said, he wouldn't even give me a pound. He would count out to the last penny, 19 shillings and 11 pounds. You, don't, you probably don't understand no, that. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> so there were 20 shillings and a pound, and there were 12 pence. So one more penny would have made it one pound. So wages weren't big either. And then the war came along and everything improved. There was lots of money and lots of, well, not lots of food. Uh-huh. Rationing and all the rest, which went on into the, right into the 1950s. Yeah, but, but things were brighter. So um, seemed to be everybody had a job then, and there was plenty to do, and seemed to be a wash with money. Well, there was nothing you could spend it on, I don't know. See, food was rationed. <coughs> uh-huh. There was no fruit or anything like that. But well, but except you, local apples, I suppose. I was going to say, but you lived in a farm, so... Uh, well, we, we, we didn't grow apples or anything like that. No, but, it, but you just didn't... You did okay for food? You know, like oh, well, it's always enough. Well... You had, you had poultry, which are uh, hens, yeah. which laid yeah. eggs, and when the hens got a bit old and stopped laying, they ended up in the pot, basically, you know. Yeah. And everybody killed their own pigs, you know, around the yeah. uh, That was terrible. You could hear the... You knew when it was slaughter day in some farm, the squealing of the pigs. That was cruel, uh, you know. No. So, uh, I remember in our place, pigs being killed. And there was one guy, the way he did it, he was a killed pigs. He had, a, he had a wooden mallet, and they struck them over the head in the mallet, and then he slit their throat, uh-huh. and the blood would be flowing out. I can remember them getting up to their feet and running the blood flowing out. Is that right? Oh, it was cruelly. It wouldn't be done nowadays. Your hands would be disemboweled them and all and strung yeah. them up the, yeah. to a big pole through their sinews and hanging down for a few days. But many people had to cure a bit of bacon on their own, you know, mm-hmm. side of bacon, you know. Uh-huh. I went to the academy, 45, 40, 49, and I, I remember the word went around about oranges arriving on Brashane Street in Ballymena, and a huge rush down to see oranges, maybe them knocked on oranges. That was three or four years after, after the war. I remember being at a football competition or anything, and, and, and uh, there was a banana in a, on one of the stalls and things like that. Well, you know, it was all but there was a banana in exhibition and there was a, um, they sold tickets or something. They raffled it any, I don't know how they raffled it. I didn't buy any tickets, but there we are. But uh, the people were coming to see the banana. That's right. The word went round. There's a banana hanging outside one of those stalls. Uh. No. 